my niece asked me not to introduce my videos, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because if you're not following my content, it's pretty simple. I'm trying to do a little bit of an autobiography. I might have mentioned it before, but just in case you're not really sure what I'm doing with my videos, maybe this will give you a little bit more insight with the content of the, the videos that I'm making. So this is pretty much the one about sort of my testimony. Because if you haven't figured out yet, most of my content is Christian. Not Christian themed. I don't know if that's the right terminology to use, but it's more filtered out through a mind of somebody that's different than other people, in case you haven't noticed. Spend the night, I'm gonna come here because uh, it'd be 16 years old and I'm 47 now. Less than zero, it means nothing to us. You come on in. Well, as far as my story and testimony of being a Christian is coming here, I got baptized here at this church, uh, Pioneer Baptist Church in Norwalk in 1992. And I learned a lot to get me started. Keep in mind in 1992, I was only a sophomore in high school. I, it's cool that you're still a, a pastor here. That, that's neat, you know. It's been a long time, huh? It's been a long time. How I got... I got baptized in 92. How long were you a pastor before? Uh... Well, that was Smith. Oh, that was Smith. Oh. Smith? When, wait, you, you were teaching, weren't you teaching in 92? In 92, I was a pastor, yes. Did I baptize you? Yes. Yeah, you did. Shall we? Okay, check this out. I'm gonna find the story right now on my Bible app and I'm gonna play it for you. So you can hear the contents of my Jesus. It's not exegesis because it's something that is kind of a story to be told. It's found in Luke 9.
I yeah, it might have actually made me better for being an adult that he would go on the side tracks. At this cross street uh, at Harvest and Rosecrans for a while actually but I was very curious to see what the church looked like because I haven't been here for so long and I and I was saying in my uh, other segment about how the churches will change their name and take out certain words so this is Norwalk Presbyterian Church and to, to my surprise they still have Presbyterian in the name and and the other thing, see, it gets even more complicated because there's different types of Presbyterians. There's Presbyterian of America and the United or Presbyterian USA. And there's a difference between the two and maybe I could put it into the edit that the Presbyterian USA I think is the good one and the Presbyterian of America is the one that might be more favorable to the um, other people's uh, I don't want to say it, but they they fly a flag and it has multiple colors in it so and uh, that's not really advocated in the Bible if you're like a real thinking Christian you will know that that's not too uh, yeah condoned it be a whole field to play volleyball in and well parking lot now fantastic or one of those presbyterians make a ride on har harvest no but i mean make a ride on harvest so we could uh Are you going straight, bro? No. Uh, yeah, go straight. Just go straight. Yeah, we are. But we're going to make a left on uh, Firestone. So go into the community chapel. Spider car, spider car. Duh. This is crazy. I've never seen this in my life. Whoa. Straight ahead. <laughs> Whoa, to God alone be the glory. All right, all right, all right. Haven't been over here to this church for a while. So part of my Christian journey brings us to Trinity Reform Baptist Church. So like I was saying, Trinity is doctrinal, Baptist is creedal, and Reformed is uh, something else. So just by the name of the church is the different um, theological aspects of this church so in the name there's a lot to that speaks volumes but I, I i came to this church from 1996 i believe i started coming here until about 2000 i think 1999 or 2000 i stopped coming here and then i actually came back here in 2000 2003 or 2004 I came here and I started going back to this church for quite a few not even quite a few years I think from 2004 until no no 2003 until 2007 so that's part of my journey of the faith is Trinity Reformed Baptist Church and I believe at this church was where I started to grow in Christ the most because they teach a lot of doctrine and uh, having a firm foundation. To me, it was like opening up the Bible and actually getting more out of it than I ever did before because it's starting to break it down almost word for word and understanding the Bible. Where's she at? See how much of the gang flowers are. They're probably five bucks. Yes. 
I don't think they're 20. Man, she had a mask on. Uh, church down the street. It used to be a Baptist church on uh, Norwalk Boulevard, I think it is. And they took the they took that out. Yeah, the um, church I got saved in, Bangor Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And of course, they changed pastors and everything. Next thing you know, it's um, the church on Broadway or something. Mm -hmm. And it might have been small things, mm -hmm. a Baptist assembly. Mm -hmm. So people did that, and they, they thought my brother-in-law was pastoring in El Paso, and they did that. And said, look, we're not changing our doctrine. but just these Catholics. They won't come to a Baptist church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the philosophy was, drop the name Baptist. See? Yeah. So I never, you know, I just never did it. When did, when did that take place, you think, when they started to drop the Baptist or the, the denominational? I'm thinking 20 years ago, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was making yeah. the connection to. Yeah, about 20 years ago. My, my pastor was Buddy Franklin. He was a hard-nosed guy, you know, dynamic, all that. And he'd say to the vocal, I thank God I'm a Christian. Amen, amen, amen. But I really thank God I'm a Baptist. Amen, amen. Well, that might be pushing a little too far, right? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. All right, because mm. the bottom line is we're Christian. But we're also Baptist. It means nothing to us. You come on in. Where's she at? How's it going? Yeah, just rally, rally man. You could get a flight. They don't have the $100 flights no more. 